Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find all the real values of x that satisfy the given rational equation. And to solve this problem, we are going to start by cross multiplying to get rid of this fraction on the left hand side. This is over 1, of course. When we cross multiply, we have that this times 1, that is 133x minus 78 is equal to x raised to the power 5 times this 133 minus 78 x now from here we have that 133 x minus 78 is equal to x raised to the power 5 times this is 133 x raised to the power 5 minus x raised to the power 5 times this is 78x raised to the power 6. 1 plus 5 is equal to 6. Now let us bring these two terms on the right hand side over to the left hand side. When we do that, we have 78x raised to the power 6 minus 133x raised to the power 5 plus 133x minus 78 is equal to 0. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to divide through this equation by x raised to power 3. And we are only able to do this because we know that x equal to 0 is not a root of the original equation. So, with this division, we have... 78x raised to the power 3. 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. Minus 133x raised to the power 2. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Plus 133 over x squared. 1 minus 3 is minus 2 and that is why it's dividing minus 78 over x cubed and of course this is equal to 0. Now let us collect like terms. We have this and that. That is 78 into x raised to power 3 minus 1 over x raised to power 3. Then we have minus 133 into x squared minus 1 over x squared. And of course, this is equal to 0. Now here you can see that we have the difference of two cubes. While here we have the difference of two squares. Remember that a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b multiplied by a squared plus a b plus b squared in this case we have that a is equal to x and b is equal to 1 over x so x cube minus 1 over x cube is equal to x minus 1 over x multiplied by x squared plus x over x because remember a is x while b is 1 over x then plus 1 over x squared so now this term is going to be 78 into x minus 1 over x multiplied by x squared plus now this is equal to 1 x over x is 1 plus 1 plus 1 over x squared minus here we have the difference of two squares and of course you know that when we have the difference of two squares this can be factorized as 
into x minus 1 over x multiplied by x plus 1 over x. And of course, this is equal to 0. Now, when you look at these two terms, you will see that we have a common factor, which is x minus 1 over x. So we can factorize that out. When we do that, we have x minus 1 over x into here. What is left is 78 times x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 1. And here, what is left is minus 133 times x plus 1 over x. And of course, this is equal to 0. Now, you can see that we have that either this is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0. So we have broken down this equation into two conditions. Either x minus 1 over x is equal to 0 or this long equation is equal to 0. So now all we have to do is to solve this and to solve that. Now let us start with the long equation and let us look at the expansion for x plus 1 over x squared. When we expand this, we have x squared plus 2 times x times 1 over x. That is 2 times x times 1 over x plus 1 over x squared. Of course, you know that this is going to cancel that. And on the right hand side of this equation, we have x squared plus 2 plus 1 over x squared which simply means that x squared plus 1 over x squared is going to be equal to x plus 1 over x squared minus 2. So we can rewrite this as 78 into x plus 1 over x squared minus 2 plus 1 minus 133 into x plus 1 over x is equal to 0. From here we have 78 into x plus 1 over x squared minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 minus 1 minus 133 into x plus 1 over x is equal to 0 and opening this bracket we have 78 into x plus 1 over x squared minus 78 times 1 is 78 minus 133 into x plus 1 over x is equal to 0. And of course, now you can see that we have x plus 1 over x and x plus 1 over x. So let x plus 1 over x be equal to b. And this equation becomes 78d squared minus 133d minus 78 is equal to 0. And of course, we can factorize this quadratic equation. Let us use the table method. The factors of 78d squared are 6d and 13d. And the factors of minus 78 are minus 13 and 6. Now, when we multiply 6d by 6, we have 36d. And when we multiply 13d by minus 13, we have minus 169d. And minus 169d plus 36d is equal to minus 133d. 
So we have that the factors of this quadratic equation are 6d minus 13 and 13d plus 6. And of course, this is equal to 0. And of course, from here, we have that either 6d minus 13 is equal to 0 or 13d plus 6 is equal to 0. From here, we have that 6d is equal to 13. And dividing both sides of this equation by 6, we have that d is equal to 13 over 6. While from here, we have that 13d is equal to minus 6. And dividing both sides of this equation by 13, we have that d is equal to minus 6 over 13. So now we have two values of d, and hence we have two equations to solve for x. We have that either x plus 1 over x is equal to 13 over 6, or x plus 1 over x is equal to minus 6 over 13. Now to solve this equation, we are going to multiply through by 6 times x to get rid of these two fractions. x times 6x is 6x squared. 1 over x times 6x is 6. And 13 over 6 times 6x is 13x. When we rearrange this equation, we have 6x squared minus 13x plus 6 is equal to 0. We can factorize this equation. Let us use the table method. The factors of 6x squared are 2x and 3x, while the factors of plus 6 are minus 3 and minus 2. 2x times minus 2 is minus 4x. And 3x times minus 3 is minus 9x. And of course, minus 9x minus 4x is equal to minus 13x. So from here, we have that the factors of this quadratic equation are 2x minus 3. And 3x minus 2. And of course, this is equal to 0. From here, we have that either 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 or 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. From here, we have that 2x is equal to 3. And dividing both sides by 2, we have that x is equal to 3 over 2. From here, we have that 3x is equal to 2. And dividing both sides by 3, we have that x is equal to 2 over 3. You can see that we have two values of x already. And in the second equation, we have x plus 1 over x is equal to minus 6 over 13. Once more, let us multiply through this equation by 13x. Of course, to get rid of these two fractions x times 13x is 13x squared. 1 over x times 13x is 13. And minus 6 over 13 times 13x is minus 6x. When we rearrange this equation, we have 13x squared plus 6x plus 13 is equal to 0. This equation does not have any real roots. Let us check. The discriminant of this equation is equal to b squared minus 4ac. Of course, you know that this is a, this is b, and this is c. So we have that b squared, which is 6 times 6, is 36 minus 4. A is 13, and 
C is 13. You can see that 4 times 13 times 13 is greater than 36. So this discriminant is less than 0. It is negative. And of course, you know that when the discriminant of the quadratic equation is negative, then that quadratic equation has no real roots. So in looking for the real values of x that satisfy this equation, this quadratic equation is of no use to us because this will only yield the complex roots of this equation. And finally, for the last equation, we have that x minus 1 over x is equal to 0. Let us multiply through this equation by x to get rid of this fraction. x times x is x squared. 1 over x times x is 1. And this is equal to 0 because, of course, 0 times x is 0. From here, we have that x squared is equal to 1. Taking square root of both sides of this equation, we have that x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1, which of course is equal to plus or minus 1. So we have that the four real values of x that satisfy this equation are plus 1, minus 1, 3, over 2 and 2 over 3. The other two complex roots are going to be supplied by this equation but of course we are only looking for the real values of x that satisfy this algebraic equation. And with that we come to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.